Uh, I do have a few suggestions if the folks at Sangamon decide to release a mother... Oh my god! La 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 la. Hey everybody and welcome to another installment of Split Second. The show where we do watches and memes and each episode it gets harder to say something fresh in this intro. My name is Julio and I'm somewhat fond of watches. Let's dive right into it. Before proceeding, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, as usual, let's start with a quick wrist check. Today I'm wearing the Phoebus Wavemaster, that Avalon dial on the Albert Villa strap. And just look at this thing. It's, it's just gorgeous. I'm quite smitten by it, and I don't think it's coming off of the strap. It works quite well, if you ask me. But, also as usual... I'm not here today to talk to you about this watch. Maybe some other day, if you behave and eat your vegetables. Today I'm here to talk to you about this watch. It's the Sangamon Watch Company, Mother Road. Sangamon are no strangers to the channel. I recently reviewed their Omaha Beach, which is inspired by D-Day. You can find that video here and in the description down below. With the Mother Road, you have a watch that's inspired by Route 66. So you can kind of start to see what sets Sangamon apart as a watch company. Their timepieces are inspired by American historic events or persons. Now, as stated in the thumbnail, the Mother Road is a mother of a watch. Eh? <laughs> uh, you know what? You wouldn't you would know comedy if it bit you in the... Now, this thing is not for the dainty of wrist. Their website lists it at 44 millimeters wide, but my calipers measure it at just about 45 millimeters. The uh, watch has a 53 millimeter lug to lug, which is a more accurate representation of how it will wear on wrist. And uh, this thing, it just commands wrist presence. Uh, it comes in at 14 and a half millimeters thick, uh, but a good chunk of that is due to the domed sapphire crystal, which includes AR coating, by the way. And it would also explain why Sangamon lists the case thickness at 12 millimeters. Finally, as far as measurements go, uh, this watch does also include a uh, 22 millimeter lug width. Which means you could swap out straps all day long if you wanted to. But I doubt you would. The included strap is a genuine leather rally strap. And it may be because this is a review sample, but I find it to be nice and supple. Pretty much already broken in. Uh, the strap is capped by an oversized signed buckle. And uh, this thing would probably look out of place on any other watch except this one. Now, unlike the Omaha Beach, the keepers on this one are nice and solid. Now, going back to the case, it's made of 316L stainless steel with a horizontal brushed finish on the sides of the case, vertical brushing on the top of the lugs, and circular brushing on the top of the case, all of which gives the, the case a nice fluid look. Interesting and of note, the lugs have a slight, um, I want to call it indentation. The lugs have a slight indentation w on the sides where the finishing is bead blasted. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before, and that will be a recurring theme with this watch. The bezel, it features gear-like teeth and includes engraved Arabics from 1 to 12, with minute markers between them as well as sub-second markers between those. Now, the signed guarded crown is a push-pull with three positions as this watch is powered by an NH35. So we have the zero position where the watch is in operation 
And since the crowd is not threaded, we can also wind it with ease in this position. Position 1 allows you to set the date. And position 2 allows you to set the time. Uh, it also features teeth for grippiness, which are interrupted towards the edge of the crown by a kind of notch there. And uh, it seems to be intended for you to use your fingernails to pull the, the crown out. The screw-on case back is something else. As with the Omaha Beach, the level of detail and finishing here are phenomenal. A combination of brush, blasted, and polished finishes, the case back features the Route 66 road sign superimposed over a checkered flag, with the nickname Main Street of America arching over it, and the years of commission of the road beneath that. Now, surrounding that are the brand, model, and name. You can see that around this edge here. The uh, brand name and the model name, Mother Road. Along with uh, some other, you know, specs. You have the Japan Movement, 24 Jewels, etc. As with the Omaha Beach, the screws on the case back look almost untouched. As I said in that video, how we do the little things is how we do everything. In a watch such as this, if something as tiny as these case screws gets this level of attention, you can expect good quality all around, and that definitely seems to be a trend with Sangamon. Now, onto the most unique feature in a watch chock full of them, the dial. This watch was designed to evoke the idea of road trips, cars, and American muscle, and there are tons of nods to all of that. The watch itself borrows plenty of design cues from racing watches, starting with that rally strap, continuing with the bezel, which apes the look of a tachymeter bezel, and the high contrast hands and dial. The dial itself features a molded Krieger wheel, taking up most of its space, with the Sangaman S logo at 12, and the word Spirit printed at 6. There's also a frame date window at 3, and there's just tons of dimension here, which I'm not sure if the camera is actually is accurately capturing, but it just it really is a very, a very multifaceted, multi-layered dial here. The watch also features a Rio Chactor ring with a bit of a twist. Instead of normal markings, it mimics the look of a speedometer, going from 10 to 120 in increments of 10. At the 6, the word automatic is printed in bold orange text, which plays well with the seconds hand. Completing what's under the dial are a set of white skeletonized hands, which, as I stated previously, make for great contrast against the black dial. The watch comes in a package with tons of extras. It includes a little fold-out, which kind of reminds me of a road map. And it tells the story of Route 66. Also included are a Route 66 keychain and patch. And those both feature, if you can see here, USA with the Sangamon logo. And on the back of the keychain, also kind of a... Hmm, I don't know what that is, but you know, it's got some kind of printing there. Is uh, the Sangamon logo as well. You uh, get a warranty card with two years of international warranty, as well as a card granting membership, access really, to the Sangamon Dock. Uh, that's kind of a blog or a newsletter where uh, yours truly was recently featured. Now, I think this would be cooler and would give people a greater feeling of exclusivity if the card included a password which granted you access to the dock. That way, you know, only people that have actually purchased a watch from Sangamon would have access to that. Um, it would also give this card a bit more of a purpose. Now, what do I like? Well, there is a lot to love about the Mother Road. Although large, 
the watch sits very flat on the wrist with the low curvature ensuring the watch doesn't feel cumbersome. The rally strap is super comfortable and honestly, you'll never want to change it. I'm a sucker for a dome crystal, as some of you may already know. And although I've been an advocate of screw down crowns in the past, for the sake of water resistance, I have to say I came to enjoy being able to wind this watch without having to go through the rigmarole of unthreading it. The case back is a welcome departure from open case backs found on many automatic watches. And I mean, just look at this thing. This watch oozes cool and it defies categorization. What do I wish were different? Well, I do have a few suggestions if the folks at Sangamon decide to release a Mother Road Mark II. Most of the things I would change are purely design elements and as such are very subjective. You may not mind them at all. Uh, first and foremost, this is a large watch and for a large watch, this handset is pretty small. A set of longer or larger hands would be right at home here. And in that same vein, the crown also feels a touch too small. An extra mil in diameter and in length would go a long way towards making it feel more in tune with the overall size of the watch. The uh, last issue I have is actually a few different ones that all add up to the same one. Legibility. Now that speedometer chapter ring looks pretty cool, but it means that they had to move the Arabics onto the bezel and in turn have to keep them very tiny. And because of those shorter hands, it takes a moment to be able to orient yourself and really, you know, tell the time with precision. Applied markers, batons between the edge of the circle created by those spokes and the chapter ring itself would also help legibility tremendously. Also, it bugs me a bit that they had to truncate one of those spokes in order to include the date window. It makes it look unbalanced in my opinion, and I know I go on about 6 o'clock date windows, but one on the lowest pointing spoke here, right in the middle, would look a lot more symmetrical. All that, however, is negated by a good degree of X-Factor. This watch is just really, really cool. Now, the one other thing that I would change is the kit itself. Much like with the Omaha Beach, I do appreciate, you know, the extra goodies and the packaging and what have you, but I just always feel like that's money that could have gone into the watch itself. Quality control issues. None. Absolutely none. This thing is so well made, it's ridiculous. You may have noticed the includes paid promotion disclaimer. This watch is a review sample that the guys at Sangamon were kind enough to send, and I will be returning it to them after I'm done filming this review. The reason you saw that disclaimer is because they were also kind enough to provide me with a discount code for you guys. Now, if anyone watching is interested in the Mother Road or any other watch from the Sangamon line, use the code SPLITSECOND15 for 15% off. Using that code is a great way to support the channel, as every time that code, that code is used, I do get paid a small commission. But the watches don't cost you anymore. Now, speaking of cost, the Mother Road is currently selling for $289 on the Sangamon website, uh, link below. However, by using my code, you can buy it for $245.65. The final verdict? Well, the Mother Road isn't like anything I have ever seen. It includes a solid, reputable workhorse movement along with some really, really creative designs. And that makes this watch a no-brainer for me in spite of the design quirks that I mentioned earlier. Uh, having said that, I really do hope they release a Mark II with some of the tweaks that I mentioned above being included. It would make an already good watch damn near perfect. Uh, just beware if your wrists are less than, say, 7 inches. That'll be it for today. Now tell me, what did you think of the Mother Road? Do you agree with my assessment? Am I just being nitpicky? Am I talking out of my tailpipe? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Stay safe, mask up, and remember, be kind to each other, because life can change in a split second.